Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, um, let's try this one. Okay, so let's let's start. So, um, so first, uh, we need to create a like a, a tunnel. Like, a, um, it can be quite simple to do it. So, uh, we're going to use. Um, Conceptual mass. Okay, so um, first, okay, so let's go to floor plan. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to use uh, one of the reference plan as a word plan. So and create some, uh, create a, an arc. Okay, so reference arc drawn word plan set word plan. I'm going to use this um, uh, reference plan and go to just go to one of the elevation. So we're going to draw just draw something um, something like this. Okay. So now let's go to 3D view so you can see this reference line. And if I click on uh, create form, and then we can go here. So. Um, we can change the length. So, for example, I'll, I want 30 meter on one side and it's 30 on the other side. So, this is it. So, um, next, next we, we can just use divided surface and then go to this uh, list. So, I'm um, think I think uh, we could just use triangle flat. So, let's have a look. Okay, so and uh, the direction of these uh, pa uh, patterns are not right. We just need to uh, rotate them by ninety degrees. So this is it. Okay. So um, so next step is we're going to create a pattern based family. So um, we can have some frame and also there will be a panel, something like this. Okay. So let's do it. Uh, okay. So a uh, new family. Uh, let's just use the pattern based family and select this grid. And in the list, just pick the same uh, triangle flat. Okay, so first, let's just quickly do a, a frame. So I'll just use reference. Oh, hell, we need to pl place a point first. Just place a point, draw on face, place onto one of the reference line. And then reference, uh, I'm going to use rectangle and draw on word plan, set word plan, pick this word plan. I'm going to just draw something like this. And then we can tab select these to adjust the size. So I'm going to just make it, um, I'm not quite sure, maybe uh, I'll just make it 100 by 400, maybe, maybe 300. <laughs> and then I'll just move, move. Um, move this to here and move this to here so now it's it's centered right okay so now we can select this profile and also the reference line the path and then we can create f so this will be the frame so if if i hh just hide the frame and select this one directly uh, create a form so uh, one is a solid one's the um, the surface, so maybe I'll just create a solid instead. And actually, because I have the form one hundred and fifty, so if I type in seventy five, so this will match the uh, th the surface um, of the frame. So let's try HR. So I can see ah, it's not uh, oh, three hundred, so it should be one hundred and fifty. If I type in 150, it will match that surface, right? So, so, and then I'm going to um, give it a material, so uh, like a translucent. So I'm just going to create a new material and just give it a tiny bit of trans transparency. So click OK, and then that's it. So if I load this one into here, so let's go to three. Oh, it's already a 3D view, and then we can s change that one. So. Okay, so it looks like um, it looks like the 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 frame relative to the 
relative to the size of these panels, the frames, uh, the frame is too skinny. <laughs> so maybe, um, maybe, maybe we can just reduce the size of this. So currently 18 meter radius. So if I type in 10 meter, so this should reduce this a little bit. And also we can adjust this. So I'm going to use maximum spacing. Let's have a look. Uh, roughly three. So maybe I'll type three meter for this one. Three meter for this one. I think that's I think that's relatively better. Okay. So but the issue we have here is so you can see this these are all flat. Right. So if I rotate you can tell it's just flat surface. But how can we create the surface like this? So this can be uh, um, quite tricky. So, but uh, let's have a have a try. Um, okay, so let's go back to that uh, pattern based family. So I'm going to just delete this. Okay, so delete and delete. So now there's no panel. So um, we are going to um, create a a form with that with uh, with the curve but first let's let me just h h the frame so what we need to do is we need to to, um, to create that for this one we will need um, some profile but th these profiles need to be uh, adaptive which means when you change the size of this grid it will all, always follow this uh, the shape of this tri triangular shape Okay, so let's let's create a new family. So it will be a generic model adaptive. Okay, so in this adaptive family, we need two points, one, two. Select them, make them adaptive. Now create a spline through points, make it reference line. Okay, so ne next we need to, to create a reporting parameter. So set work plan. Pick this work plan of uh, this reference line, di dimension, and pick those two uh, points. Now select this dimension, create a reporting parameter. Let's call it RP instance and reporting parameter. Okay, so the next step is um, we are going to create a profile for uh, um, so we can use it to create a form. So the profile will be a um hang on let me think can be a i think can be a partial ellipse okay so let's do it so first we need to um i think we need to place a point draw on face place on this midpoint and then let me just select this point and change the show reference plans to always and uncheck the show normal reference plans so we can see all the uh, work plan of this point what we need to place is pl we need to place a profile on this work plan so a vertical work plan so let's do it and this time we're going to use model line okay so a partial ellipse draw on work plan set work plan pick this work plan so and then i'm going to just start from here here and finish it so now escape select this line so now you can see you can add two dimension to this uh ellip a partial ellipse so one can is will be the height and the other one will be the width so for the height i'm going to just create a parameter let's call uh, let's just call it h and instance and okay okay so now we can use this one to adjust the height of this uh, uh, partial ellipse and then for the width we need to create uh, let's call it um, so because this will be a half width I'll just uh, HW and instance so half width need to be half of the reporting so RP divided by 2 so click OK so now let's let's have a test if I go to family types 
here. So if I change this one to, uh, for example, 500, so it will come down, right? And for the width, so we, we can adjust the points. So you can see when once I move the points to, it also change the width of the, this uh, partial ellipse. Okay, so this is good. And also another thing about this is um, when we place, because, uh, not this one, this one. So because we have this frame like 300 uh, high or, um, or deep, 300. So, and also in this image, you can see the edge of this, um, this, this, this panel is very close to the top of that, uh, that frame so we can we can actually move this up by half of the frame uh, um, height which is 150 so we can have it something like this okay so now um, we can load this one into uh, which one sorry let, let me have a look into this family 2 okay so let's load this one into family 2 and we can start to place so first I'm going to just place uh, I'll just use draw on face and place it one here, one here. Okay, so let's have a look. So actually you can see um, the orientation is not right. So um, maybe let's go back and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try this one always vertical and see what happens. And load it back and overwrite. Okay, I think that's better. So now we can select this one. So to control control this, so you you need to move your cursor to here so you can see this little dot so this is the point at, um, on this reference line so you can control use you can I, you can drag this along this uh, reference line you can also use the normalized curve parameter to control so for example i'll type in 0 0.01 oh sorry 0 0.01 so it will go to um 0 0.01 that's one percent of you know uh, this uh, reference line so we can do the same just typing but just make sure so you can see this number is close to one which means it's measured from the other side so you can just change this one to end and then it will start from this this point so we can do the same 0 0.01 so and then um, you can adjust the height so for example this one we can change it to uh, maybe uh, 50 so okay so it will come down so let's place some more okay so let's create some more um, maybe another one here another one here another one here and then another one here so and then you can always you can also um, uh, try to you can create a form first and then adjust them so for example you can just do this uh, create a form and then that, that's it and then what we need is uh, we just try to you know adjust so you can use the tab just try to uh, press tab until you select this adaptive family um, for this one I'll just make it down <laughs> okay so something like that and then this point can go to you know very close to there so because there will be a frame so it, you, you probably don't need to go to the point that, that point but yeah just close to that point will be fine and you can start to you know try to adjust these point at um, adaptive family so one two three uh, maybe i'll just make it 200 so yeah something like that okay so maybe the the, the one in the middle need to be higher a little bit higher so let's select it uh, maybe 250 okay but uh, um, still I, I don't know how uh, this will um, look like because because the scale might not be right um, and also yeah we might need to move um, I think probably let's just move them move this one down a little bit maybe a 20 mil okay <laughs> so load it back and overwrite okay i think that's better so now let's have a look so if i load this one into oh hang on. before i load this one i want to just give it material so the same uh, translucent material 
okay so and also another thing about this is um, this these lines will be visible so um, let's just select them so this this and also there's another one here so let me try to select it as well so one two three four five let's double check five yeah great and then just uncheck this visible so now <coughs> load this one into um which one <laughs> i think a family one okay and overwrite so this might take okay so now you can see the yeah it's actually the the the, the results quite good actually so i didn't yeah we didn't take long to adjust this yeah and then we just had so have a look here looks i think it's very very good so um let me just try to uh, change the graphic setting so we might be able to uh, maybe just adjust the lighting a little bit so to make it brighter yeah um shadow maybe shadow uh because the translucent you won't have shadow from these panels um but how about this uh, um yeah anyway so maybe it's probably easier if i go to material and change this one to uh, maybe just a tiny bit of translucent uh, still it's hard to maybe i'll just make it solid <coughs> make it solid <laughs> okay so then need to adjust the lighting again uh, maybe not lighting to turn off the sh show and um, um, yep yeah, I think that's better so now you can see the frame and those panels uh, curved panels looks quite good actually yep okay so the the last one so see there are some panel missing here so yeah you can do that just simply just tab select and the delete okay tab and same you can de delete or you can just go here click on this the same okay and you can so if you find uh trying to tab select it's 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 quite you know sometimes you, you won't be able to, you need to tab a, a couple of times to until you select the the one you want you can also do this so tab select one of the panel and the type i c so i isolate category so which means you won't be able to select the whole uh, pad divided surface again so so now you can only select these panels so now it's very easy to pick you know multiple panels you just do this okay much easier so delete and then we can have some quite nice interesting um panels okay so um this is it um if you have any questions or if if you um and if you have a like better better method to create these uh nice curved panels please please let me know okay so i'm going to just do some setting graphic setting um, I think that's that's all that's all okay so this is it and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time thank you